Let's go. Newton's first law. The law of inertia. Inertia is a term we're going to further detail with and explain. What does this law state? Well, if there is no resultant force acting on the object, it will remain at rest. Excuse me. If it was previously at rest, or it will continue to move with a constant velocity. What is a constant velocity? Well, a constant velocity is uniform motion, that is motion in a straight line at a constant speed. Now, let's take this example, our first illustration. We see a pendulum bob and a helium balloon. Well, for the pendulum bob, it's much heavier than the helium balloon. However, both of them are at rest. But suddenly, a, law, a, a force is applied and they accelerate. This is Newton's first law in action. So whenever you see something at rest, standing still, begin to accelerate, just know that Newton's law, first law is in action. And next we have a soccer ball. The soccer ball is moving at a uniform velocity in a straight line. That is a constant velocity in a straight line. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the soccer ball example. Let's go into the math of the first law. For all forces acting on the body, F1, F2, F3, up to Fn, how many ever forces there are acting on this body, there is no resultant force if the summation of all forces equals zero. And when I say summation, I mean the vector summation of all forces equals zero. This simply means there is no resultant force acting on the body. Alright, the first law tells us what a force is. What is a force? Just in case you missed it. A force is anything that causes acceleration. We'll go into this, we'll go into further detail in the second law. And it also tells us that all bodies, no matter how big or how small, have an inbuilt resistance to their change in motion or inertia. Remember inertia from earlier? Well, inertia is how difficult it is to get a body moving. It is related to momentum, which we'll cover as well in the second law. Let's take another, let's have a few more examples or animations to show Newton's first law. This man standing on the edge of a building, very dangerous. He throws the ball off. The ball falls down, but why does it fall? Wow, there's a force acting on it. What is that force? It is known as its weight. The weight is the mass times the acceleration due to gravity or g. You might have heard people say 5g, 6g, 7g. This is just 6 times the acceleration due to gravity. Alright, now let's have some more examples of Newton's first law. When you kick a soccer ball, it stops moving because a resultant force is acting on it. What is this resultant force? Well, it's friction. You didn't know that, did you? 